Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today's vlog is a special episode because we will show you what our wedding in Santorini looked like. We will share how to organize such a wedding in Greece step by step, tell you about different wedding venues and much more. At the end we will also include how much was the wedding, the location, rental fees, the food, decorations and all the other services because it was the most frequently asked question on Instagram and we know that many of you are particularly interested in this topic. And if you would like to know what to see in Santorini, please subscribe to our channel and have a look at our two previous vlogs from Santorini. There you will find all the information you need, what to see, what attractions to tick off, where to look for the most delicious food and how much it all costs. And in the meantime, let's move back to May 2022 in Santorini when we got married. We arrived in Santorini a few days before the wedding in order to see the wedding venue, meet our wedding planner, get the final paperwork done and to spend some time with our guests on the island. Of course we managed to drop by our favorite tavern, which you probably know very well from our previous vlogs. It was also our honeymoon, so we went a little crazy and this time we booked a hotel on the cliff with a beautiful view and a jacuzzi. The hotel is called Panorama Boutique and we can recommend it with all our hearts. The view from our room was just incredible. We also love delicious breakfasts and swimming in a large pool with another amazing view of the caldera. The only disadvantage is the location. It was situated in the main promenade in Fira, so the location was ideal. However, at night it could be quite noisy and earplugs came in handy. But we already knew that from the last time when we were in Santorini, so we were prepared. As for the hotels with Caldera view, it was one of the cheapest options, but it's worth mentioning that we booked it more than a year in advance, as after that the room price almost doubled. Two days before the wedding, we visited our wedding venue for the first time, met our wedding planner and got the final paperwork done. We also had some time left to practice our first dance, which to be honest wasn't going too well, so we got a bit stressed before our big day. It is worth mentioning where weddings in Santorini usually take place. Most of them are beautiful open-air ceremonies on clifftop terraces overlooking the caldera and the sea. That's what our wedding was like and that's also how 90% of the weddings in Santorini are. But there are other options. You can get married on the beach, on the other less picturesque side of the island or for example in the wineries located in the middle. If you would like to party until the morning, the beach or wineries will be a better choice as usually clifftop terraces with a view have a time limit. The venues are usually located within hotels, so after 11 pm the music and noise could disturb guests. When we were planning our wedding around two years ago, the first step was to find specific venues that hold weddings and receptions in Santorini. If you are seriously thinking about getting married in Santorini, we will attach a list of the most popular ones in the description below. After sending inquiries to four locations, I received PDF files from each of them, including their services, prices and the number of guests they could accommodate. In addition, they included a lot of other information about food, music or party hours. I have to admit that everything was really well explained and transparent. We decided for quite a popular place called Dana Villas. The venue was perfect for our number of guests, had the most beautiful views, was quite reasonably priced and the location couldn't have been better. We booked the date less than two years in advance and I think this is the perfect time to start planning because even in the middle of pandemic, quite a few dates for May 2022 were already taken. What's important, each of the places I emailed told me that unfortunately I can't book anything on my own and for the organization I will need a wedding planner from Santorini who will take care of everything. So the first step should be finding a good wedding planner. In the description under the video I will give you a list of the most popular wedding planners in Santorini so that you don't have to conduct your own research. We decided for Santorini my wedding. After booking the date we also booked a photographer and a videographer because the best ones are also busy up to two years ahead. And that's it for 2020. In 2021, so exactly a year before the wedding we sent out invitations and the real planning started three to four months before the wedding day. 
That's when we agreed on the menu, booked the DJ, decided on what style the wedding should be, what decorations we were going for and many other details. The wedding day finally came. I had a makeup appointment at our hotel at 11am with makeup Santorini Reina, probably the most popular makeup artist in Santorini. In less than one hour I was ready and Reina was beyond friendly. Then we drove directly to Dana Villas, where we got a tiny room where we could change and have a shower. At 2pm I had an appointment with hairdresser Marianna and she did an amazing job with my hair. Of course, I will link her Instagram in the description. At 3pm, together with our photographer and videographer, we had a short pre-wedding session. Unfortunately, we will have to wait up to 4 months for final results, so we don't have anything to show you yet. But as soon as we will get the footage, we will definitely share it on our channel. At 5 pm the ceremony started. It was held in English and there were also vows in English, which we had to repeat after the celebrant. In addition, we had also our own vows prepared in Polish. The weather spoiled us way too much. We planned the wedding in May, hoping for a pleasant 23 degrees centigrade. In fact, it was less than 30 in the shade. On the other hand, in the week before the ceremony it rained all the time and was quite chilly. Of course, out of two options we prefer the sun, but as you can see it's not all easy to get the perfect weather, which even in May and especially in its first half can still be unpredictable. Our guests came very lightly dressed, many of them in linen shirts, pants, and they were still all soaking wet. The wedding and reception take place outdoors, so when planning the ceremony keep this in mind. When getting married in Southern Europe in high season remember that the elderly can really take it badly. Fortunately the umbrellas to protect from the sun helped a bit. We dreamed of a rustic style wedding with olive tree branches on the table, candles, fairy lights, wooden chairs and accessories. Everything was just as we dreamed of and this was thanks to our wedding planner who knew all the Greek vendors, knew where to get the various decorations and services from and on the day of our wedding Katerina coordinated the ceremony and the reception, prepared the table, seat tax menus and many other things we were not able to take care of on our own. The food was organized by Dana Villa's restaurant. We could choose from as many as 9 different menus, all options were 4 course and the price per person varied between 76 and 110 euros. We went for two main courses to make sure no one would be hungry, but it was completely unnecessary because basically everyone was full and the heat didn't help either. We had Mediterranean bruschetta as a starter, moussaka for the first main course, sibas with orzo as the next main course and lemon creme brulee for dessert. In terms of alcohol we went mainly for local Santorinian wine and beer. On the next day we invited our guests to a private catamaran cruise. We chose the Vista Yachting Company and a 5 hour Sunset Rose Gold cruise. On board we enjoyed a Greek dinner with barbecue and unlimited wine, as well as 3 stops for swimming. As for May the water was surprisingly warm, in fact warmer than in our hotel pool. It was definitely an unforgettable attraction and our wedding guests enjoyed it a lot. It is worth mentioning that there were 19 guests at our wedding and the maximum number of guests at Dana Villas is 24. So let's move on to summarize the costs. The wedding package was 4240 euros. It was completely personalized for us and included a variety of services including rental of the ceremony venue, rental of the wedding reception venue, bouquet and buttonhole, wedding cake, makeup, hairdresser, wedding planner's commission, transfer for the bride and groom and few other little things. The food, alcohol, photographer and decorations were not included in this package. 
the four course menu was 90 euros per person. The photographer and videographer total was 3400 euros plus VAT. It was 6 hours of shooting on the wedding day plus 2 hours photo session the next day and 5 hours of filming on the wedding day. The DJ was 590 euros plus VAT. Decorations including decorating the altar with flowers, decorating the table and chairs at the wedding reception and a carton of fairy lights totaled 1815 euros plus VAT. The alcohol ordered by bottles was 360 euro total. Additional snacks during the ceremony were 140 euros. And the catamaran cruise was 2000 euro plus VAT. Please let us know if you have any additional questions as we are happy to answer all of them. We hope you enjoyed our vlog from Santorini and if so make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.